Now it's got these uh, things over here. It's got uh, object just emitted and that pulses every time one of these is emitted. It's also got some inputs. Let's put this on a chip. Um, yeah. Let's put it on a chip. Let's drag it over here and it keeps the same um, place it's going to emit from uh, when you put it into a chip. And now we can have a look at these uh, inputs and stuff. So it's got scene space direction. This is um, the direction of this arrow. Uh, so if I made a three dimensional uh, position or direction and plug that into there. So if we give these um, some random, uh, a random direction, then it's it's being thrown in that direction out there and it's affecting the uh, arrow there uh, so I can make it less vertical by going like that and so on if you look at it from the side it makes more sense uh, so that's cool also has a scene space transform input so you can tell it exactly where to um, emit from uh, now you can build these yourself um, and that's cool for kind of randomizing different things like randomizing the um, the rotation or something like that when you emit it and it takes a translation also known as a position a rotation and a scale uh, scale is just a single value you plug in uh, from zero up uh, rotation there's a special rotation type with X, Y and Z on it and then uh, position you just use the three numbers for a position within the scene um, so you could uh, make all these values manually yourself uh, or you can use other things like a tag so this has a position in the world and it also has rotation so if I get up that um, and in here we kind of make it a little tower um, then we can use the scene space transform that comes out of it and plug it straight in uh, one caveat to that is so if we plug that in yeah so it's emitting but um, you can see they're really tiny that's because tags if I scale it up again then it's uh, more like the real size. Uh, that's because tags actually have a scale of 0 0.1. So if I if I uh, split that there and put it into a slider, then it's 0 0.1. So if I like scale this up, now it's getting closer to one. Uh, so you could do that, or you could split the split this up and then set the scale manually, and then plug it in. Um, another uh, source you can uh, get this from is impacts. So let's say uh, this is uh, let's make this movable. Cool. So then when and we'll make this not collidable. And make it a different color. So uh, on here we're going to put a sensor, an impact sensor, and when it bumps something, we'll use that. So we'll have a a node coming in here that's connected to that bump. And if we look at what that splits out to, that's a special um, collision type. Uh, which has the force of the impact and the surface type and also the position so you can use that position to make a scene transform plug it into the uh, position like that then plug that into the emitter and we wouldn't want it to be uh, continuous or anything just put it once and no speed and we want it to happen when we plug it in when uh, when it hits the ground there you go. so now if I like 
grab it and fling it around somewhere else it'll make a new one and so on uh, now if we get a, a switch then we can send a signal into destroy emitted objects at some point so it'll keep emitting and then when we send it a signal it destroys all of the objects this emitter has emitted um, in the moment that you actually send it a signal so even though it's still on it's still trying to emit stuff so it kind of makes sense like that now let's say uh, you have like some large area and you want to emit some logic that includes this emitter um, maybe maybe these kind of shoot out of a place Oh, a little shoot and this is part of that group like that and it's gonna point upwards so it's like firing out of this shoot so we've got this shoot and it fires out random ones of these objects like so um, and it's all kind of grouped up together nicely so you can just like copy uh, copy these and now you've got all of these shoots throwing stuff out. Um, however, if you had this in this group, because it's all part of one thing, uh, say if you uh, made a creation that has just this stuff in it and then you import it into a scene so you can kind of easily update things, uh, that's a good way to work. But then if you copy these around, you can see it's actually copying the object to emit as well and then they all start spitting out stuff which is fine but you have copies of the object to emit in each of these groups which all uses their own thermo so that's that's a very inefficient way of doing it so if you after you import the, the object uh, go into the group because it always groups stuff up and grab the object to emit and then scope out and now you're outside of that group and they move separately so you can just put that somewhere safe, come back to the uh, the object that's emitting it, like that, and now they all use that same object. So if, if I go into here, then it has a red line going to that object, and if I go into here, go into the same object. So that's a lot more thermo efficient because it only has one copy of this and just multiple emitters which is a lot better and that's because you're copying just the emitter by itself and then it just preserves the link to the same object just like keyframes key work I'd like to thank Kel Bjones, Mobius DT, Prism Knight 90 and all of my other supporters for making this tutorial possible if you'd like me to continue making these tutorials and helping creators across the internet you can find out how to support me in the link in the description. Thanks for your consideration, and I'll see you in the next one.